introduce yourself, tell us your story and how the Juventus opportunity came up because we all want to know. Yo, 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 what's going on, T20? I hope you're all super well. Right now, I'm getting ready to head down to go and meet Matt to then meet someone else. It's in the title. She's a Juventus first team player. Matt and I will get into that later, I'm sure. So I want to get an interview with her. I want to get some tips about what it takes to become pro. She signed her first professional deal with Juventus, which is insane. So I want to speak to her about that. And then after we finish the interview, I think Matt and I are going to head off to the gym and get a session in there. And then tonight, I know I'm training with Matt's team, Waterside Karori. So it's a pretty jam-packed day. I'm really looking forward to the team training out of everything that happens. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of the gym. I'm not a huge fan of fitness. That stuff, you just got to get it done. It's part of being a footballer and becoming a footballer. You have to put in the yards that you don't necessarily want to do if you want to make it as a pro. But it'd be awesome to train with Matt in a team environment. I know so many of us would love to do that. So I'm taking one for the team. I'm going to go and do it. And yeah, we'll see what I can do up against him. So let's head down and meet Matt. All right, we got Matt. How you going, mate? I'm good, I'm good. Now, good morning to you. Good morning. Tell us where we're heading off. We are going downtown right now into Wellington because we're going to meet Katie Root. Oh, tell us who Katie Root is. Katie, so Katie messaged me, like she emailed me uh, about a few days ago, and she is a Juventus first team player. And she basically Damn. is from New Zealand. And she sent me an email just saying that she's going to be in Wellington for the next few days, that she watched uh, our videos and she wanted to come out and just like meet us and talk to us. And she's starting a YouTube channel, or yeah. she's already started a YouTube channel. So it's just like literally right up our alley. It's crazy, hey, how yeah. it's all worked out. So we're going to head down there talk with her a little bit. Have you got a few things lined up? Yeah, I got a lot of questions. Yeah, there'll be a video on Matt's channel as well, a video on my channel, a video on Katie's channel, everything will be down below. So yeah, man, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, she should have a really cool story. Yeah, that's what I want to see how she actually got there. I think that will be the most interesting thing. And then the tips that she can give to you guys as well. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be awesome. Yeah, can't wait. Head down there now. All right, we got Katie here. She plays for Juventus. Introduce yourself, tell us your story and how the Juventus opportunity came up because we all want to know. <laughs> yeah, okay. Katie Rude, I'm 25 and I'm from New Zealand. And uh, yeah, I just finished my season with Juventus, which <laughs> still doesn't feel real. Yeah. I like saying it. But um, it's a long winding story, but the, like, the final bit of it, I was playing for the New Zealand Football Ferns development squad up in Auckland and we were playing in a boys league and getting our games filmed and so it turned out <laughs> it's crazy but there was a guy who used to coach in New Zealand had come back over and he was watching us play and he managed to get my footage and without me knowing had sent it over to England and so one day I just get this text saying Hi Katie, my name's Andy, I'm an agent in England and there's a really strong Spanish club interested in you. And so you, you never knew that there was anyone there watching your game, you were just playing just to yeah. play. Yeah, well I knew I was collecting footage because I wanted that contract but I didn't know that it had been sent out or that anybody was like looking for me to play for them. So yeah, that was... Um, crazy it's crazy so what would be your advice to players who they want a contract they yeah. want to go out there and sign their first professional deal what would you be your advice to get that deal I think one thing that definitely played its part for me was my British passport so mm. I definitely say if that's a possibility for you to get go and get it like don't muck about if you can get a European passport go for it um, secondly is just commit to the cause like are you really doing all that you can to get to where you need to be and for me the biggest thing that I did was getting that footage um, once I got the footage then people it's could so see important. that I could play yeah so important sending that footage off to scouts and yeah. in your case you didn't even know it was getting sent <laughs> yeah. which is even it's kind of, like yeah. you said crazy yeah make sure you check out Katie links will be in the description tell us about your channel briefly what you're doing on there and what you're all about yeah, so I'm just kind of winging it. Like, <laughs> I love it. This is my life. This is what I do. This is who I am. And come and check it out. Yeah, yeah. click the link in the description. Subscribe below. Subscribe to Matt behind the camera. Aww. Want to say anything, man? Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, anyway, Adam. Been great sweet. to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your time. Cheers, here. mate. Good luck. Cheers. Cheers. Awesome. Mate. Cheers, mate. I'm down at the gym now. You haven't filmed up here before, have you? 
Oh, in this room? Have you? Yeah, but I always put the camera over here. Oh, so, like so you guys don't get to see, but this is a view from Matt's gym. Do you like working out with a view? Oh, yeah. Must be good. So, what are we doing today? Stop doing some like a full body circuit. Do nice. Like some deadlifts, push up, or pull ups and push ups, and then maybe a little bit of like some leg exercise, functional stuff at the end. Like it. And then I'm going to shoot some hoops against y'all. I mean, uh, dunk on you. Yeah, so, so you can try to shoot hoops, but you won't be able to get up to oh, the room. Nice. Oh, good banter. I can feel like the there's like a bump. I'm just heading off to Matt's training session. I'm running slightly late, so I've got a jog on. Well, walking now. I'll be training with Matt's team, Waterside Karori. This is my first session with them, so I'm really looking forward to it. When Matt actually spoke to the coach, he said that I play left wing, and as you guys know, Matt plays right back. So it's going to be so interesting to see how I go up against him in the game. Because Matt said at the end of every training session, they play match. Man, I can't wait. If I don't get a nutmeg or two, I'll be disappointed. I'll have let you guys down. So hopefully we'll catch up with Matt before the training starts, get his thoughts. How's he gonna deal with me in the game? I'm looking forward to it, it'll be a good one. But now, I gotta get running, so I'll catch you guys there. All right, so it's the next morning. I wanna show you guys what happened at training. I'll first off explain how it all went down. So we started off with a simple warm up. It was Piggy in the Middle, Rondo, Sheva, whatever you wanna call it. Five against two, I think we played, only one touch. I absolutely love that drill from there. We went into a simple two lines warm up, and then after that, we did a possession sort of drill. I was on Matt's team for that, and we absolutely destroyed. I think we only had to do fitness once, because if you lost, you had to do some running, and yeah, that kind of sucked. From there, we then went on to another drill where I was on the outside as an extra player. Obviously, I'm not part of the team, so I'm not going to be involved in every single drill. But being an outside player, I still was involved. I was crossing the ball. And then after a little bit of that, we then played, I think it was a 6v6, 7v7, 8v8. I can't quite remember. And yeah, absolutely epic. But in that 8v8, I was kind of, I can't even really describe it. I was playing left wing and Matt was right back. And let's say he's there, right? And I was facing this way because a ball went behind me. So I'm here, I'm thinking, man, he's coming to pressure me. I can't really do much. If I take my touch that way, he's just going to come pressure me. I can't really switch it because that guy stepped up. But I did know there was a runner behind me. So I stepped towards the ball. I back heel it, reach around, back heel. Matt's there. And this is Matt. Pretend this is the ball. He doesn't even know what's going on. Back heel, boom, Megs, straight to my player. There's a bit of a mess for the ball here. It ends up coming back to this player here, who then plays me through. I run through, get to the line, and yeah, we won't talk about that part. But I did get a nutmeg on Matt, so that's absolutely sick. Tyler, if you guys know Tyler, he's someone that lives with Matt. He said, Sheldon, if you nutmeg Matt, I will give you $5, so bro, I'm still waiting on that. I've been checking my bank account all night, all morning, nothing's been there. So bro, just send it through, cash, I accept that, check, it's all good, whatever, PayPal, I'll send you it. I'm waiting on that five bucks, and yeah, Matt, bro. I'm sorry. I finished the training with Matt and his team. My oh my, did I have a good time. Good to be back in the team training environment. But I am walking home. It's freezing cold. I haven't had dinner and it's 10 p.m. 
I need to get inside and I am so hungry. So I'm gonna run the rest of the way and then have the fattest feed. I think I got shepherd's pie or something along those lines. Anyway, catch you guys later. All right, I've finished my dinner. I'm extremely tired. That session went from about eight o'clock to about 9.45, I'd say. I absolutely loved it being in that team environment. I just can't get enough of it. And especially while Matt's there as well, it just adds an extra dimension to it. I'm sure you guys know when you have team trainings and you have a friend there, the banter is flying and all of that. It's always good fun, especially when you get a Meg on him. Even though he's still gonna deny it, I did Meg him and man did feel good. So I'm gonna end it there, head off to bed. Tomorrow I think is an epic video. It's going to be a training session with Matt focused on a specific drill type. So like dribbling, passing, first touch. I'm not sure which ones we're doing yet. There'll be one on my channel, one on Matt's channel, which will be uploaded in the future. I don't know when he uploads. So that's that. I need to head off to bed. So anyway, Team Tweet, I'm signing out. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're here. Join the journey. I'll see you in the rest of your life. Bye. Yes.